for example, the uh, clip texture as opposed to the player clip texture will also block um, computer controlled NPCs. Like if you're playing Left 4 Dead, the zombies. Or um, if you're playing Half Life, then Combine or something like that. It'll also block um, physical objects that move around like barrels and, and other stuff that might get blown or something like that. I'm going to get rid of that though because I don't want any of my map. A couple more interesting textures. Go into your texture tool and type in black and you'll get two of these textures, overlays, black gradient, and tools, tools, black. Double click tools, tools, black. This is an interesting texture that can be used in several situations if you, for example, want to simulate a bottomless pit or something like that. Putting a tools black texture on a solid, on a brush, will mean any, it will actually not receive any light whatsoever. It's not simply just uh, like putting black paint on the wall. It is actually a void. You, there is no, um, no, it is, it receives no light and, and gives no light information to your world. So if you want to simulate something that's maybe infinitely far away, or a, uh, a pit like I was talking about, maybe a, um, a location off in the distance or down a tunnel that you can't see, cap it with something like tools black to um, kind of simulate that you cannot see any further down there and no light is going down there. On the opposite side of things, type in light in your um, in your texture browser, and then you can get things like this stuff: light white, light white fill, no chop, this kind of stuff. I'm gonna pick one, and then applying that to this texture, or applying it in the same way that we applied the the black texture, this will actually generate light and uh, shoot it out of the texture, for example. This is, this is not technically a light entity like what we had done in the previous examples, like this um, light spot or just a normal light like that, but it's actually light coming out of a, um, out of a, uh, a brush which could be interesting and very useful in certain situations. I've seen many valve maps do this uh, use uh, light brushes like this um, to, for example, uh, simulate like fluorescent lamps or stuff like that. Um, I'm not a big fan, but you know I don't know much about it beyond that, so I could just be totally wrong. Actually, you know what? Let me leave that up for the um, for just testing it. Those are two more textures that you might want to keep in mind. All right, so this last texture I'm going to talk about is the water texture. First of all, I'm going to build a uh, pool, I guess. Let's get some space here. Do this pretty quick. Duh. Duh. And then... Right now, I'm just building a pool. There we go. So here's an indention in our ground, and I'm going to turn this into like a water pool. The way you build water is similar in the way that you build any other texture. You just have to apply a water texture to it. But there's a little bit more to that than that. Start with your no draw. This isn't essential, but it cuts down on um, rendering. And then outline where you want your water in the pool. I want my water to go all the way down, so I'm going to start down here. Oops, messed that up. And then I'm going to have it cover everything up into, let's see, how many dis that's about 16 hammer units. I'm not sure how, how uh, far it takes somebody to jump out of a pool like this. Let's make it really close like eight hammer units from the start of the water to the lip, the edge of the pool here. 
and I'm going to blink that into existence, and now it's all just no draw right now, which means that that um, anything covered with a no draw will not actually be rendered. Remember, it will not have any value, and it will just look like you're looking into the skybox or something like that. All right, now pull up your texture browser again, type in water, and then you'll get a whole bunch of uh, different water. Well. Let me back that up here. If you just type in water with no keywords, you're going to get a whole bunch of water textures. These are all the waters in Half-Life 2 or and Left 4 Dead, if you have that game, or in Team Fortress, if you have that game. Um, I'm going to filter it further using the keyword Team Fortress and just get these waters right here. Uh, these are from the Swamp Pack, I think, and these are just the waters that come with uh, Team Fortress 2. There are two different kinds of waters. There's waters that end with the name cheap, and there's just normal water. And waters that end with the word cheap like this are a lot cheaper to render because they don't do as much. Maybe they don't have uh, as good a reflective quality, or they don't have as good of a um, as a uh, simulated kind of wavy uh, texture that is applied over them. Um, for whatever reason, though, they are easier to for the computer to render. I'm going to go ahead since our map's not very uh, not very um, complex right now. I'm just going to do a normal kind of water. Let's say water uh, two fort beneath, for example. So get that selected. Then go into your face edit sheet, and then here you can again apply the texture right click on the top of our pool here. Uh oh, okay. Let me undo that. Let's not use that texture then. That's not a very good example. Let's say uh, water well beneath. Uh oh, will this work? I'm sorry folks, I'm just uh, There we go. Let's try this one. I'm not sure why those aren't showing up. But let's go to water 24 dx 80 and then put that in the map. And then this will give us a nice looking water texture. I'm not sure why those other ones looked up. I'm probably not going to re-record this um, tutorial because that would be disingenuous. I'm not sure why um, that, that didn't work. Um, I think I've used those before, but uh, hmm. I do know that certain uh, waters will not um, operate if you don't have a 3D skybox. And I know, um, uh, yeah, that might be the case here. So uh, we don't have a 3D skybox, we just have a 2D skybox. So I'm just going to run this map and then hopefully it'll work. But this is how, once you do have your skybox, this is how water be simulated. You can you start with a no draw texture, you build that wherever you want, and then you can um, and then your water will be rendered on top of it, and it will automatically recognize uh, this brush as water. You can jump in and out of it. It will act just like normal water will. Some notes, though, however, you should not um, use cheap water and expensive water in the same area of your map. Uh, and I'll talk a little bit about areas and zones, what distinguishes them during optimi optimization. You can kind of see where this is going. It's getting kind of important. Um, and also, you shouldn't have your water do anything but simply be um, horizontal to the horizon. You shouldn't have it... Uh, you can't make a waterfall out of this, for example, and you can't have it uh, like a, a slide or something. You shouldn't have it at an angle. It won't work. It can't be done. Not in uh, not in source anyway. Unless there's a different method other than just um, what we're doing right here. Uh, you can you can make things that look like water do things like that, but you can't actually make the water itself do that. If you want people to jump into a pool like this, you're just going to have to use the method that I'm talking about here. All right, so let's save it, and then 